We're back in the Hamble again today. We're in the, the lower reaches, not far from the Harbour Master's office. And yet again, it's a gorgeous summer's evening here or autumn evening in, uh, in September. And today we've come to see this Halbergrassi 35 Rasmus. Now, this is a boat that perhaps a bit smaller and a, and a bit older than what we would normally have listed. But I met the owners of this boat several years ago, two or three years ago here in the Hamble, uh, and always said if they did want to sell her, uh, to talk to us. Now, unfortunately, they have a, a health problem, so the boat is now going to be sold. But she is just the most charming boat I think I've come across ever since I started. Now, you're not going to believe this when I tell you, but she's a 1978 boat, and you wouldn't think of it to look at her decks, which I understand are original. So clearly they don't make them like they used to. So as ever, full details of the boat will be on our website at www.jryachts.com. And the purpose of today's video is just to give you an introduction to Summer Wind and just let you see how she's set up, how she's laid out and what she's about. And I think she is a really, really interesting boat. Just have a look at her rig. Now her rig I think is 10 or 12 years old, so we'll probably need replacing fairly soon. But one of the interesting things is that she's been re-engined. I think it was about 2010 and she had a, a Beta 58. So that's a really good size engine for a boat of this size and in fact the owners tell me they're really really fond of that engine it's given them lots of power and lots of low down grunt if you need to get out of trouble and the other great thing is this hard rigid bimini top and, and windscreen so they feel very very safe and secure in this boat reefing at the mast is easy and then they come back into here and as you can see as we go backwards She's also got a really nice cockpit tent. So a good safe enclosure. And I think the owner says he rarely wears oilies. Just gonna move this out of the way so we can come past. I'll take you onto the aft deck. And again, look at the condition of the woodwork here. There we are. Really, really. Really, really, it's a boat actually that just just brings a smile to your face when you when you come aboard her. We'll go we'll go into the cockpit in a moment and we'll go down below because one of the other interesting things is there's a, an aft cabin here and that has a, a separate access through the cockpit and with the cockpit tent up, it just makes everything very private and secure. Here we are. Let's go back and have another look at her, her rig. Okay, I'll now take you into the cockpit and then down below on summer wind. Okay, we're inside the enclosure now on summer wind and you can see just what a, a protected cockpit and protected space this really is. We go along and look out you can see the rigid rigid windscreen and down into the companionway into the saloon. And woodwork in this cockpit is just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous. Now this is an easy to handle boat from here she's got a, a bow thrust as you can see there. There's also remote operation of the anchor so you can raise and lower the anchor from here. Instrumentation-wise, only usually uses iPads or iPhones, but there are instruments across underneath what's also used as a, an outside chart table. And the boat's fitted with AIS uh, transponder. And she also has a command mic for her VHF up here in the cockpit. As I say, full details are on our website at www.joyachts.com. So have a look there. And then she has an aft double cabin, which if I come round here, you can see that we access from the cockpit. There we are. 
and in fact sorry I should have said it's not really a double it's two two singles but that's a, a private cabin at the back of the boat that you access from here in the cockpit and I'll now take you below going forward and introduce you to summer wind here we are so we'll come down the companion way this is her saloon you see what I mean she's just a charming charming boat so you have a, a galley running along the starboard side now because she's an older boat it's it's cold water only but it is pressurized and the heating system we can see here that was a project that's just been started by the owner so that heater is is not in commission and hasn't been connected yet so that's something a new owner can take on and then to port we have a saloon seating and table and the owner tells me he actually came to the boat quite a lot to work and work from the boat because it's such a comfortable and pleasant place bring your laptop and it's a nice environment there we are looking back through the cockpit and then back into the aft cabin you can see and then here we have chart table and those those are the remotes there's two remotes there for the anchor windlass so you can raise and lower the anchor windlass from the cockpit Okay, and now let's go and have a look forward. Lots of good storage here. So she has a double V berth forward, and again, if you go to our website, you'll see photographs of the V berth with the infill, which fits in here, which creates the double at the moment she set up. There's two singles. The infill cushion sits up there. And this is a good size cabin. I'll come in and turn round. And then you can close the sliding door. Or this is the door to the heads. That can also be used to close off the cabin. And then the heads is in here. I really like the classic, classic feel in here. Okay. So she is just, as I say, a, a charming, charming boat. She's a much older boat. But uh, she's got a real, a real atmosphere to her. And as I say, full details and more photographs will be on our website. There's, a, there's some good photographs actually of the, the cockpit table because it opens right out, but there's also another one that sits behind the wheel. So do have a look at that. But this is just a introduction video to give you an idea of the looks and layout of Albergrassi 35 Rasmus Summer Wind.